Hello all, uh, back at it again with Ubuntu uh, 12.04, and this time we're going to talk about installing known shell in Ubuntu, and it'll be a different session. So you log out and log into GNOME shell. And I've got a screenshot here, I'm just hovering my mouse over, that I got off the internet. When you log out, you hit the button, and then uh, you have a choice here, GNOME. Right here is the first one you want to do once you install GNOME Shell. Or if you want to go back to Ubuntu, you can use that. Okay, let's get started. Uh, probably the easiest way now um, is to just open the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. And just type in GNOME dash shell just to make sure. And we have two options here. The first one is the main one here, GNOME Shell. The second one is the extensions. Uh, so we'll, we'll install both of these. So you can click on more info and get some reviews about it. Uh, and it tells you what it installs and other useful. That definitely advanced settings uh, would be something to install. So you just hit install and type in your password. Hit enter and let it do its thing. And then uh, move on to getting the extra uh, GNOME packages. GNOME shell packages, sorry. Okay, it's uh, been installed and when I hit the back button in the software center, it also installed the GNOME shell extension preferences. So we'll just go on ahead and uh, get the advanced settings. Uh, this comes in handy as well. So you just hit install and... Uh, if you're in the same session, uh, it shouldn't ask you for a password. It shouldn't take too long. And it's installed. And it will create the advanced settings launcher on in your uh, Ubuntu default setup. So we'll close that down. So now all we have to do is uh, log out. A quick way to log out is hit the Alt key and start typing log. And then hit Enter. And just press log out. So I'm just gonna or restart. So I'm just gonna cancel, and then I'll be back uh, when um, I'm in the GNOME shell session. Okay, apologies. Uh, I should mention quickly that that uh, logout dialog had the restart because uh, you have to restart the computer in order for the settings to take place. So I thought I'd mention that. So restart before you log into the GNOME shell. Okay, so here we are in uh, GNOME shell under Ubuntu. Uh, you notice that there's no more side panel and uh, pretty uh, clean looking desktop. The only thing was you have the top panel up here with the uh, day and the date, I'm sorry, and the time in 24-hour uh, format. This is your uh, menu for shutdown and restart, and we'll get to that in a minute. If you go down to the bottom, the indicators, if you had any, like I have, Ubuntu 1, and the weather are now down at the bottom, and when you move your mouse away, they disappear. To get to your programs, you can hover your mouse over to where it says activities, and back again to close it, or just hit the Windows key or the super key, and you can choose from whatever's here on the sidebar. You can customize this as to what programs are here. Hit applications. Those are all the applications that are installed, that you may have installed. And you can just hit the Windows key, and we'll go to the program we downloaded, Advanced Settings. You can just start typing, and there it is here. And Desktop. Uh, you can have the computer home folder visible on the desktop, you see here. If you don't want them, you can turn it off. Uh, you can mess around the fonts if you want. Shell. Um, show date and clock. There we go. Show time with seconds. There's the seconds. And show the week date in the calendar. Okay, now you may have noticed uh, this is 24 hour. If you don't mind that, leave it. If you don't, just uh, right click and go to date and time settings. And down here it says 24 or AM, PM. So I'll just hit AM, PM and close. Okay, and back to advanced settings. I didn't mean to close that. 
I don't remember closing it. Okay, now in the shell part again. If you notice here, only uh, there's only a close button. Like if you go to your file manager, Nautilus, there's only close. If you don't like that, you can have maximize and close, minimize and close, or just all of them, which I usually choose. Shell extensions don't have any, but uh, we can fix that up. Uh, menus have icons. Okay. Windows. We'll just leave that for now. So one more time. Now you have the minimize, maximize, and close. Okay, and without taking up too much more time, um, a great site to go to is uh, extensions or gnome shell extensions.org. And uh, you can uh, browse through, there's several pages of uh, extensions. And I'll show you how this works if you haven't used this before. So I like this one alternative start menu. What that does. It adds more options to your start menu up here. So all you do is just hit this button here, on, and then say install. I'm not sure if an indicator comes up, but we'll check now. Yep, there's more uh, options here than before. Um. Advanced settings. Another one that looks interesting is uh, cover flow. When you alt tab, so you can try that. Say on. It'll ask you again. Install. Now let me open another um, activity, as they call it, and we'll do the alt tab. And oops, right. And yes, it is working. You can see it's got the cover flow with the emblem of uh, whatever the uh, window is, like Firefox and Nautilus. Okay, and uh, to wrap this up, I just want to mention, if you go to your start, so not start, your uh, user panel here, there's uh, system settings. And if you have Ubuntu 1204, you probably don't have this, online accounts. You can only add two, Google and... Uh, Windows Live, MSN, etc. But that's not in 1204 at all. And I think that about wraps it up. Um, you can always go back to uh, Ubuntu. You just, I mean, the Ubuntu Unity session. And uh, be sure to visit that site because that's really handy. Uh, the GNOME shell extensions. I'll put that in the description. And uh, there you go. So you have two choices. Um, if you want to change things up a bit. You can have a GNOME shell session, or you can you have the Unity. And the third one um, is a GNOME Classic, which is uh, another one you can install. So any questions or comments, uh, feel free to add them. And uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.